so you'll notice a lot of the other noodlers they go down and when they get the fish they'll actually string them through they'll take a stringer and string them to the mouth we don't want to do that because we don't want to hurt the fish we want her to come back and be good as gold but look at her fin is as big as my foot isn't that crazy that's some power that's a beautiful fish right there she's just fixing to try yeah look at that it's amazing. I mean, that's just power right there. <laughs> it's kind of hot out here. <laughs> just fan off. <laughs> We've been going after this fish for a while. She's been tricky. I just lucked out and got her. She is beautiful. Let's see if I can sit up. Go with me. I hope my kid is this pretty. <laughs> right. Let me see where she's been in there. Oh, she's been in there getting scratched by the top of the boat right there. That's not something we did. That's just her sitting with all these waves and stuff. She's got it. Pretty lady right there. Look at that head. That's a head of mom loves. We got her. We missed her last time we came. It's amazing. You see her, her nostrils right here are scent receptors as well as on these whiskers they can have detect electrical pulses. But we're gonna let her go unharmed, unstrung, and she's gonna go right back in the hole in here in about an hour to go defend her eggs. So we're gonna let her go. <laughs> Off into the deep. Another great day. <laughs> Alright, so we got Brady out here on his first hole of the day, and we're going to see what we can't catch. He found a fish, but he's going to go see what else he can find. But I want to talk to you today about the difference between what I consider a hunter and a sportsman. Just as I'm wrong, but I say a sportsman goes out there and follows rules and etiquette and says, I'm going to take care and follow it sustainably for posterity, or follows the rules of the game. Well, today we ran up to a hole, and I try and make friends with everybody that I like meet at every hole the the house owner and uh, the kid came down and said that last week a group full of four guys and a girl and a kid came out and they took every fish he said hey please don't take the fish this fish has been here for years and i'm sure it's probably the same fish i've been catching for eight years and they threw them in the boat and left they said the, the kid just said they just ignored me and just took off running these fish that we're catching are out here on their eggs and we're annoying them a little bit by catching them but we are not puncturing them um, we're not lipping them and throwing them on a stringer to even puncture a hole in them or anything and we let them go and they come back in an hour but you take a fish that's not only you're killing a mom you're killing the baby and so it's almost if you were deer hunting it would be like seeing a mom and her newborn doe and just killing them all and then letting the doe leave so it really makes me mad especially because if you're going to eat fish like that you can go out here right now at this time of season we went out bow fishing last night and there are hundreds of channel cats that you could catch that are small size that are perfect to take and he decides to take you know a 30 40 pound flathead that's nesting and has got eggs so kills a whole generation thousands of fish are killed just because some guy is being a butt so it ruins the sportsmanship. The guy said he was like a huge, the kid said he was a huge redneck and just out here doing this. And it, it just makes us look bad as sportsmen, you know? So go out there and make sure you follow some etiquette and don't take what you don't need. And if you do take something, realize, you know, there's a maturity where you don't take something that has babies. And why even take a fish like that that survived through all the trials and tribulations for maybe a decade or more probably more to survive where she's at you know it's uh let her genetics stay in the pool and let her breed her progeny so 
it's a rant and I'm very mad. I'm not going to sleep right for a few weeks. So, we'll see if Brady catches a fish. I wish I could zoom in. I need one of those. That is so cool. It's a hydrofoil. And we're going to pick up that piece of trash before we leave because we like to clean trash. I've already found a carpet square on the bottom of the lake that we cleaned up today. We didn't catch much today, but I feel like that's uh, because of other people. But I feel like I had a good day. I don't know how to noodle. <laughs> <laughs> and Jess did awesome at cleaning the boat and being just an awesome skipper right there. Crushing it. So, guys, subscribe, like, or do whatever the heck you want. <laughs> you gotta hit the notification bell if you wanna see that I post videos every Sunday. All right, have a blessed and wonderful day.